Hello YouTube, Ken from Sweden here. Today it's Monday the 29th of March. Hope everyone is doing fine. Uh, just some short updates on some news here. Uh, here in Sweden, Geely, the Chinese company, uh, the deal with Volvo is done now, so the Swedish so famous car Volvo is now China owned and partly by the China state too. Uh, people are of course positive here, but I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking about the future and I think they're going to move some of the, the production to China in the future. So in a couple of years it won't be a Volvo Swedish Sweden made car, it will be a Chinese car. You can see it go, going in other direction, but that's how it's going to end I think. Uh, living in Sweden, of course, but I see this, these raids that was carried out this weekend. It's, it's really strange how the uh, mainstream media, uh, instead of looking outside for terrorists in other countries, they are now putting their focus into the US itself. They are accusing 9-11 truthers, some other groups. They're building up something in the US right now. I think the government knows that the economy is going to tank one more time and it's going to be really ugly this time. So they're just preparing to blame it on something and get something else going in the US to get the focus away from the economy. So, But uh, maybe they are right, those guys that are talking about martial law and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens with that. Of course, the bombing in Moscow is, uh, was made. Uh, preliminary assessment is, is that this act of terror was committed by a terrorist group from the North Caucasus region. It's an old, uh, old, ba uh, old uh, battle that's been going on for many, many years. So uh, I think it's uh, six, seven years since something like this happened. So I don't know if it's one thing or it's going to escalate in something more, so we keep an eye on that. Uh, sadly it was suicide, female bombers that did the attack and really sad. Uh, just read on Bloomberg that Bernanke went out, uh, I'm going to read it for you. Uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Benes Bernanke told lawmaker today that the US government's budget outlook is some <laughs> somewhat dark and Congress needs to agree on a plan to reduce the deficit. Yeah, of course. When? <laughs> it can't work. I mean, uh, look in the coming years, the interest of, of paying up the deficit, just the interest of the deficit is going to be a huge on the, on the revenue from tax in the US and I can't see how they're going to get out of it. They've been painting themselves into a corner for 20 years now and it's impossible for the US to get out so they're just postponing it so it's well Bernanke is saying it's out now so let's see what happened there uh, not anything else no I don't think so let's see no yeah and it's still the idea of an uh, Israeli strike on Iran love to hear your input what, what the outcome would be how the reaction in the world would be if something like that happened. Which side, or are we so much interconnected with the economy and everything that whatever happens, other countries can, can't really do anything because there's so much in debt that they have to be rely on other countries. So we see what happens. But it's, uh, I think, as I said earlier, I give it max one year before something is happening there. So. It's building up for something. Nothing else, just a short update. Everybody take care and have a wonderful night. Bye.